I want to bring up something that happened to me today. It's actually pretty funny. Um, I've talked about the the neighbors in my my neighbor, in my the, area before. There's mm-hmm. there was the guy across the street. There's these certain wars that I've had. Well, obviously the squirrels are the are the big war. Why, uh, why it's are a, all these squirrels? I don't have any squirrels where I live, and we live super close to each other. There's squirrels to everywhere. There's squirrels so everywhere. Weird. But mm-hmm. they 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 now have found a way. Robots, yeah, and squirrels. squirrels. I know my two worst enemies in this world. The squirrels, have, the squirrels have now been finding a way to maneuver around. Where they're still stealing shit and doing stuff, but I, I, they're tricky now, and they, mm-hmm. they they know to avoid me, and they've been doing it. Um, you remember when Van Damme punched that snake in Hard Target? To be a squirrel. I know. <laughs> squirrel. Well, that's I great I'm, because snakes suck. Yeah. So that's yeah. I'll I'm tell. Don't, don't, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> don't tell Fernandez that. He'd be very I upset. know his Catch Instagram snakes. feed yeah. is the Frank. worst. Frank too. Why? Frank the loves, I keep snakes. telling them, I'm like, I'm gonna follow you guys. They're gonna get bitten. The worst. Um, but anyway, so there was a guy across the street that would pace back and forth and scream on his Bluetooth, right? And like, and he, and he just kept doing it every weekend. And I'm like, I gotta say something. I'm like, I gotta say something because it was it was, it was like it would be at nighttime. It's during the day. While just, you're inside your home, you can hear him. Yeah, loud. Wow. wow. Loud. Like he would be across the street just pacing back and forth. As oh, the, that would be. You so know, annoying. hey John. You know, yeah, the deal's going through. <laughs> no. It's going through. But look, look, I just no. don't know. I I don't know what Denise is gonna say. No, 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 no. no. Put it down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And I'm like, come Does on. Does he say bro a lot? And I don't know if it's bro. bro. But he's, he's, so I'm like, I got to say something. Bro, because yeah. there was one time my daughter was sleeping. And I was like, he's, this fucking guy is going to wake her up. Yeah. Like, I got to say something. So I'm like, here we go. I'm ready for the confrontation. <laughs> oh, go, what are you going to do, man? I'm taking a phone call. And I go to, and I said, I walk over to the guy. I go, hey, man. The phone. He goes, oh, yeah. Didn't realize it. Hasn't been back since. Wow. Realized oh. it. Never came back. So, so you were nice, nice about it. But and... he was nice about oh, it. Oh, there you go. I was prepared. I was prepared for like a confrontation. To take your you tools were, you out were, and do a little dance? I was like, come on, baby. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were prepared for Queens and you got Westwood. I was. I, I switched into Queens mode, mm-hmm. ready to go. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was that. There's been there's been neighbors who have been, you know, th- this noisy to the side, like coming at two in the morning, loud as hell, coming through. You walk over nicely, say, hey, can you close the window? I can hear you. Like, they do it. It's been nice. Now, I live in a complex, too, and I've, told, I've talked about the medical students. Right, the medical students live with me, and they're all really good people. Mm-hmm. I like them very much. The it's one Grey's guy, Anatomy. You're living in Grey's it, Anatomy. It really is, mm-hmm. and, and and it's great because the, the medical students most times they just go to bed at like eight o'clock because they got to wake up at the, God knows what time. Right. Well, yeah. Gross. Yeah. So it, it's tough. It's tougher. And there's like and there's like five or six of them over there, right? Mm-hmm. And and it, it's tough. It is Grey's Anatomy. There's there's no joke. And there's one guy. He's like the leader who I've have. <laughs> he's the leader. I've been. He's, he's your been, Meredith Grey. He's been the guy that I. <laughs> yes, he is. And he's been the guy there that I've been uh, friends with. For, for a bit, like, he, there's, there's negotiations that happen. It's stupid because there's one complex. We we got we have kids, so we got to like do the laundry from like ten to five. Then they got to come in. It's a stupid thing, right? <laughs> but w- good compromise. So and it's been pleasant. And remember when we had our sponsor, the when we had Blue Apron back in Schmoes. Uh-huh. I was getting the blue apron stuff. Then I just started paying for it. But I would, I would run. I would get all this meat, and I would just give them, give them to, to them because yeah. it's like I would run. I wouldn't use some of this stuff. There's one guy that has now moved there. He looks like Willem Dafoe. Oh, oh. right, Ooh, and that's I, awesome. He, he, and he's got like a Willem Dafoe thing, and he and he's and he's a nice guy. He smiles, he waves, all this st- Is stuff. Is he too. a young Dafoe? Or are we talking like thirties? Okay, thirties, okay. so, right? Like and Boondock he, Saints he, Dafoe. But he, like, he's, you know what he's, he's 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 the he's the chef over there. He does the, the grilling. Uh, so mm, right away, I'm like, okay. okay, I like this guy. Yeah, right. So and then I was giving him all the Blue Apron stuff. <laughs> yeah, all right, you <laughs> know, okay, we're we'll good. Kinship. See what he's gonna do. <laughs> oh, what do you do with your chicken? But and and then like his meat. Yeah, but he's the guy. He's the guy. Remember when I told the story about the the they had the party and and then I found the guys pissing on the mailbox and I chased them off. He was and he was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Turns out I'm not a big fan of Willem Dafoe. <laughs> oh no, he's the guy. He's like he's he does like this passive aggressive thing where the leader will come up to you and go, "Hey, look," because we left these boxes. We left all these boxes because the, my my daughter will do a nosedive right off the side. So we leave the boxes lined up. We forgot they were there, and it's a pain in the ass for the neighbors. They got they got to move out of the way and they got to do this stuff. So he's like, "Hey, can you move it?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm always talking to the leader, right. but Willem Dafoe does the thing. He complains to everybody. But doesn't and when I see him, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, you're nice to me now. But right. you complain. I know he's complaining because Willem Dafoe because the leader's telling me that Willem Dafoe's complaining. Wow. So then this is the best thing this morning. As I because I, I told the leader, I guess I said I said I, 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 I said I said I'm, I said I'm talking about this on the air. I said because we so last last week you know we had the day off it was Martin Luther King Day um, and we had. Um, the the trash you know the stupid trash can oh, me, you know that yes. so I go it was late night all last week I don't just the one week we don't I don't take my cans up so mm-hmm. I leave the cans but it's communal we just happen to have our apartment numbers on the thing right. so I don't bring them up 
and I put my garbage in, in the communal things. That just happens to have their number on it. So Willem Dafoe did not like that. Willem Dafoe did not like that I didn't bring up my cans and happened to put some stuff in his. So Willem Dafoe this morning hid the garbage can, his garbage can what? behind the gate. I walked out and I go, Willem Dafoe <laughs> hid the garbage can. And I start cracking up. I'm like, so I had to bring my garbage cans up anyway, but I look at them like, I, so I wrote to the leader. Where were they? They, they? they have like a gate in the back, so yeah. they like okay. hit it. And these guys leave the laundry room oh, all the okay. time. Dirt gets in there. Like right. they do crap all the time. Are you but sure it wasn't the squirrels? It might have been. <laughs> the squirrels. the squirrels pushed through and then blamed it on Willem Dafoe. Yeah. That's a good move. But mm -hmm. but Willem Dafoe was is is like really passive aggressive. He makes like there was there was the, when it was Christmas time. And you that's have all so the, Willem Dafoe. I know. Like, you, right? have, you have all the you have all the uh, the the. Christmas trash that you put in and, uh, and it piles up. You know, right. happens. wrapping paper. And then the garbage was coming that day, and he's like, "Well, you know, they they." And he tells the leader, he doesn't tell me. He goes, you know, they they put up all the all the all the Christmas wrapping and and it's piling up. I don't I don't I don't think the garbage guys are gonna get it. I don't think they're gonna pick up the kids. They're garbage people. <laughs> they're gonna take them and they're gonna pick up the garbage. <laughs> the garbage. And they're gonna put it in the trash because that's what they do. They have to pick up the trash. Roll the phone. Go back to Spider Man Two, Dick. <laughs> Oh, I don't he, think he should have been in Spider-Man trash. He wasn't you know. in Spider-Man no, two. No, he was in Spider-Man one. Yeah, he yeah, should have yeah. been in Spider-Man two. Well, he wasn't two in a vision. But yes, he yeah, was yeah. that's my thing. Is yeah. that, so <laughs> Willem Dafoe, and I like the guy, <laughs> but he gives me that fake smile all the time. And I'm like, you're full of shit, buddy. Hey, it's that. I'm yeah. How are you? Yeah. I'm gonna fuck your day up. How are you? It's nice. <laughs> it's fake. Yeah, it's, it's fake. fake. The leader, yeah. like there was another guy that used to be there years ago, and he was a dick. But he, I knew he was a dick. Right. You could deal with that. <laughs> He's just like, up front. Hey, would you do? No. Would you close the gate? No. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I'm a dick. Right. Oh, okay. All right, you're a dick. <laughs> so I knew it. But Willem Dafoe, smiling, I'm a nice guy. Are you really? I so don't you think keep so. saying that. Now I think that Willem Dafoe lives next to you. Yeah. I'm telling you. So anyway, that's what I call him, Willem the, Dafoe. Amanda always says, He's like,